Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I had a chance to visit the Elizabethan Gardens and uh, this is a very impressive place here. It's on um, it's in Manio, North Carolina and it's uh, part of the Outer Banks area and here's some lavender. Um, I tried growing lavender before it doesn't really like where I am at here in Alabama but obviously it likes here. So this um, is the island where the first uh, English colony arrived here on the Outer Banks and uh, it's called Lost Colony because they went back, some of them went back to England and they when they came back the they disappeared. So a lot of it is in the shade and the main claim to fame um, for this garden, it's kind of like a botanical gardens, is the hydrangeas. So I really enjoy the hydrangeas. Um, they weren't as quite as good here as I have seen in um, other years I've been here. So that was a little disappointing, but still pretty nice. Um, of course, this is Queen Elizabeth here, statue of Queen Elizabeth. And uh, you can see hydrangeas along the path here. Um, lots in the shade. I also see, see that uh, there was a lot of hydrangeas, which I'm a little too late for the hyd I mean, not hydrangeas, um, azaleas. I'm a little too late for the azaleas, but um, definitely would have been nice in the spring. And then here's the, some Spanish moss and uh, some live oaks. So obviously this is going to be in more of a zone 8 and I'm in a zone 7. So they could grow a little bit more stuff, tropical looking stuff than I could. Um, it might even be warmer than Zone 8 here on, since it's surrounded, it's on an island and surrounded by water. I didn't, I don't know what that plant was. Um, it didn't have a marker, but it looked pretty neat. Um, so yeah, lots of area here. I don't know how many acres it is, but it's pretty big. It's a nice little walk. It's a fun garden to go through if you're visiting the Outer Banks area. Um, there's a live oak and some salt palmettos. And it's surrounded by water. The water out there is going to be salt water, and it's, um... Very, it's kind of eroding the island. You can see here they blocked off the path because of uh, erosion. But yeah, you can just look out there and see the, and that's salt water. So the plants here are going to have to be somewhat tolerant to salt water. And you can see here they're all uh, nice, they have nice paths. The, most of the paths are, are concreted or rock. Um, very nice. So yeah, the hydrangeas, I really enjoy seeing the hydrangeas here, and I'll show you some in a little bit. And see, they have paths all over the place. You can go down different paths. Um, you can go out in the lawn and stuff. Um, here's a nice snowball hydrangea. All different kinds. And then this greenhouse here, uh, where they, they grow um, more... Uh, tropical plants that would not normally survive in their zone 8 here. Um, they have some bananas and some passion fruit and some uh, other tropical plants. I would love to have this greenhouse um, at my place. It's because it was all glass and uh, like eye beams. So very, very heavy duty. Um, it's one of the most heavy duty greenhouses I've ever seen. So I would love to have this. I can't imagine how much it costs though. And then uh, here's a passion flower. Very, very pretty. Look at how pretty that is. I know we have the wild ones growing around here, the more cold hardy wild ones. And um, they have pretty amazing flowers themselves. But this one is a unique to see the different types. And the, um, the camellias, I did not know that they could get this big. They were very massive bushes here, as you can see. Um, and then here's a double petaled hydrangea, pretty impressive looking. And I talked to one of the gardeners here. He said it was a pretty warm year, winter. And um, some of the hydrangea flowers, you know, you hear acidity or alkaline makes the color difference. And I saw one flower that had that was split, and like purple in the middle. And he said that yeah, the flowers can split just depending on what they suck up in nutrition. And he said if you want a purple flower, which I saw some purples and I've never seen that before, you just mix marble rock in the soil in with them and you would get um, a purple. So that was pretty impressive. Um, I just, and then they have greenhouses here also. Um, I'll show you this here, right here, where you can buy some plants that they, and they sell some plants they have in the gardens. Um, so I just wanted to show you this quick video here. 
um, when I went on vacation. It's a pretty neat garden. Um, so I just want to show it. Make sure to subscribe and God bless and we'll see you in the next video.